All right, guys, what's up? It's your tactical beaner here, and um, yeah. Anyways, so um, as I was driving in to get my tacos, uh, I thought of uh, a little topic. You know, I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, it's early Saturday morning. I'm about to go to work, and um, you know, um, I want to get some training. I want to go and train with somebody. I would actually like to go trade with Reed Hendricks over at Valor Ridge. That would be pretty fucking badass. But that's unlikely. It's kind of far. Um, and I figure, you know, I always figure in, you know, like cost of going there. And he, and he doesn't have like a place to stay. So he's like out in the middle of nowhere. I kind of GPSed it. But I would love that. You know, that'd be freaking awesome. Um. But the, what I want to talk about is uh, maybe to the older guys, you know, a lot of you youngsters might not, you know, really pick this up. But uh, like me, I'm, I'm 30, I'm 31, but I feel like I'm fucking 50. You know, I've been out in the world. I've been working since I was 13 years old. So, you know, I got my own little company. You know, it's good. You know, life is good. But I have put a lot of years on my body, a lot of wear and tear. And one of the things about training and you would think, well, you've been shooting for a while. You got the fundamentals down. You can shoot good. Um, you can draw your pistol. And yes, I could do all those things. I could do all those things without hesitation. But I find that um, you never get to your fullest potential when you're shooting. Um, and this is, I'm talking about regular civilians, not competition shooters that shoot thousands upon thousands of rounds downrange i'm talking about you and me the guy who goes to the range i go to the range i try to go at least twice a month and then shoot about 600 rounds or so i mean that's what i try to do and and i have done it you know i have been consistent on it um so you know it's, it's pretty good round count but you're always going to the range to basically re-zero yourself as a shooter um, Re-zero yourself, you know, think of it this way. So you got an optic on a rifle. Uh, you take that optic off and you put it back on. Uh, yes, it's the same optic on the same rifle. You know, we've advanced where optics usually hold zero, but say it isn't perfect, you know, say it is a little bit off. So you want to re-zero that. And I think of that as putting that on humans, you know, humans like me. Um, you go to the range not to re-zero the gun you're shooting but to re-zero yourself where are you at where are you in your life um, like me I have some kind of stage of diabetes and I know that's probably from all the fucking tacos and fucking horchatas and sweet teas and tortas and all that shit you know um, but you know I'm getting a little bit blurry on my eye, eye, eye eyesight my eyesight is a little bit blurry it's like a tired vision or something you know, I'll be sitting some some place, and then you know, like my eyes are get blurry, you know. And I think, well, I need I need to learn how to shoot like that, you know. So when I when I feel that way, uh, and I get a little bit blurry, I'll go to the range and I'll shoot, and then I'll be like, okay, I, I shot okay, but I could have shot better if my eyesight wasn't like that. Or um, I get the shakes if I don't eat my tacos or something. Um, like I'll get the shakes and I'll be a little jittery, you know, like fuck, I'm shaking. And the best way that I could explain that so that you can understand it is adrenaline rush. Okay, so when you have adrenaline, your body is, is, is prone to a little bit of shakiness. Your fundamentals are a little bit off. Your, your fingers feel a little numb. Um, you feel a little um, robotic, you know, your, your movements. That's the way you feel. You might not be showing that to people, but that's the way you feel inside. Uh, when your uh, sugar level gets really low. And I've gone to the range and shot like that. Like, I've on purposely gone to the range and shot like that. I know I, I was hungry as fuck and I'm over there shooting. But I want to feel that adrenaline a little bit. You know, I want to kind of push myself and f say, okay, um, this, is, this feels like adrenaline because I've had adrenaline as well. But for those of you that have never had low blood sugar, don't know the feeling. Um... So I've shot that way. So I kind of say, okay, I re-zeroed myself on, on that. So um, that's why I think that shooting is a never ending process where you will never master it because you never get younger, you never stay the same. So you're always getting older and you have to adapt to your body 
um, and your gun together. You know, you gotta you gotta put them all together. And I thought I'd just kind of share that with you guys. All the older folks would be like, yeah, you know what, you're right. You know, um, I'm getting this, I'm getting that. You know, say uh, you fall down. Like I dislocated my fucking knee uh, a while back and I was out for, you know, a few weeks. And uh, I didn't go to the range, you know, cause I wanted to stay off my foot. But, you know, that was something that I had to train around, you know. Like my Glock, I didn't put it on my hip, you know. I, I kind of, kind of cross-drawed it, you know, because I, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was gonna be able to move this way or something, you know. And even then, I had a, a holster on my crutches, cause I was on crutches for a little bit. So I had a holster on my crutches, and I'm like, well, fuck that. If you know, I have, I have my hand on my crutches, I'm gonna fucking draw from the crutch, you know. Uh, I, I think I saw one too many Quentin Tarantino movies, but anyways. All right, guys, so I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. I'm about to go to work um, and grab myself some tacos here at uh, this place here. It's pretty good. So I get you a uh, Now the sun's in the way. Anyways, it's called uh, Mi Tierra, so it's, it's pretty nice. Give me some tactical beans.